Hi, welcome to What's Up. The Dazzler Singapore Gold Cup is the biggest race event in the Singapore horse racing industry. To celebrate the Gold Cup Day, there were a couple of pre-race events leading up to it. Let's take a look. Four days before the Dazzler Singapore Gold Cup took action, a post-position draw ceremony was conducted at the Chinatown Point Outdoor Plaza. It was an event which provided a rare opportunity for public to witness the whole process. We have a field of 12 to run $1.35 million. It's our richest race in season 2016. But the barrier position can be very crucial. Uh, you don't want to be drawn too wide if you're a horse that uh, likes to get near the front. Um, and if you're a horse that doesn't like to be cluttered away on the rails, and perhaps you don't want an inside barrier. So each horse is individual, much like humans. After the entire barrier positions were taken up, it was once again a tradition for a lucky animal to predict the winner for the big race. Regardless of the prediction outcome, it was an entertaining segment to wrap up the whole event. One day after the post position draw, a chill party was held at Balaclava Suntec City. Guests arrived and immediately immersed themselves in the relaxed ambience. The event started off with video showcasing the Gold Cup contenders. After that, Guests were treated to a sumptuous buffet dinners, drinks, and music performance by local band, Energy Singapore. Throughout the night, the guests clearly enjoyed their time mingling among their peers. Yeah. Yeah. Party's very good, there's a good turnout of owners, the food and drink is excellent, and uh, what more could you want as an owner of a uh, horse in the Gold Cup on Sunday? Well, the opportunity came about, and uh, we think that it's time for us to upgrade and uh, bring ourselves to a different level. The Gold Cup is of course one of the most prestigious race in Singapore. And I think uh, that's the 100% mod is also on the rise in the Singapore market. So I think it's a good pairing for us. Cheers! The Desta Singapore Gold Cup is the richest domestic race at the Singapore Turf Club. It is also the third and final leg of the Singapore Triple Crown Series. Well, besides the exciting races and activities, the club continued to give back to society and donated $1.5 million to charities. The Time Honour Singapore Gold Cup is one of the most anticipated races on the Singapore racing calendar and the 2016 edition was for the first time sponsored by Dester. A token of appreciation was presented to Dester to mark the strategic partnership between Dester and Singapore Turf Club. I think it's a great partnership. This is the Premier Cup uh, for the Turf Club. Uh, and that's what we are trying to position our Dester 100% mod as well. And we already inked a deal to be the title sponsor for the Gold Cup in the next coming three years. The race course celebrated the Gold Cup with exciting activities throughout the day. Guests who arrived in their finest fashion got a chance to be shortlisted for the best dress contest and the lucky winner walked away with attractive prizes. The beer drinking competition was a scene stealer when the participants gave their best and went all out for a win. Besides the music band and cheerleading performances, guests thoroughly enjoyed themselves with some of them having fun in their own style. The appearances of Miss Universe Singapore finalists also provided photo-taking opportunities with the guests. Soon, the race highlight of the day took action. And they're racing in the Gold Cup. Titanium away on the inside fairly. Time Odyssey with some pace. Bahana and also away quite nicely there is Keshwa. And further out then to a Newlands between runners in the red cap as they go around the first turn. And still led the Gold Cup with about 100 metres to go. Time Odyssey trying very hard, but it's Craig Williams in front on Bahana. Blue Sweet out wide flying, but Williams has won it on Bahana. Bahana wins the Gold Cup. Congratulations to Dago Stable. trainer Stephen Gray, jockey Craig Williams for Bahana's win in the prestigious Dester Singapore Gold Cup. He's never been in front before and basically uh, it was too good an opportunity to take up. If I got beaten then they weren't going to be happy. They, they flew me over specifically for this horse and well, um, the horse worked well for me but uh, he's a bit leery in front. I thought we will make the advantage of that and I tried to get him going uh, prior to them coming to him because we had such an easy time in front and and uh, he, 
he's a, he's a nice horse that's still putting it together. That's the thing about it, isn't it? You know, there's so many good trainers here and everyone has their turns and you talk to everyone, so it's my turn today. And we have great staff and, uh, you know, I was away a week and Peter and Nick and all the boys have done a great job and it's a pressure week for them and I haven't been here at all all week really and uh, we just have a plan, stick to it and keep it simple and sometimes it happens. The Gold Cup Day is also known as the club's annual charity race day. To continue its efforts to give back to society, Singapore Turf Club, together with Tote Board, donated a total of $1.5 million to 25 beneficiaries from the arts, charities, sports and healthcare sectors. We hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Up. For more racing information, log on to turfclub.com.sg. Bye-bye! Oh, 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 oh,